top side of the cylinder. This is an Allen model of Michigan cylinder casting. Just mounted it up, it's clamped on on a block leveled up, seat clamp holding through the door. Using this other angle plate box just to hold it down. This is a so the uh, cutter doesn't pick up the edge. This is a safety precaution. It's taking 20,000 to cut. My homemade cutter. Just took a toll bit. Let's give you a perspective on size. Just took a toll bit, welded it to a piece of inch material, and uh, have at it. Gives me about, a, I don't know, probably could sweep about six inches with that. I've used this for a number of projects. Works great. You can see it there. Running the cutter. Taking a cut. Uh, running 400 on the spindle. Inch and eight beats per minute. Seems to be doing okay. Get over here to this part of the casting where it's not touching it. So here we are taking another cut. A little bit worried about that steam passage. It's casting. Looks like there's uh, in the center when the core was put in the center. Casting is not going the way across. I actually see once I get down there. I'm probably only about 50 thousandths away from the final uh, thickness or the, you know, on the, for the deck on the valve face. So I'll be anxious to see uh, how it cleans up. I don't know what I can do if it doesn't. I don't know if I have to contact Marty and uh, have to ship it back or, or what. But I, I need to hold the two and a one quarter inch dimension because I already have other things set up for that on the locomotive so let's see how it goes. Okay we're machining the side of the cylinder now that uh, goes against the frame. Okay, so now on the Allen they bolt from Allen they bolt from the top and the bottom of the frame section and use the back face just for uh, the uh, steam inlet and uh, exhaust. In our case, with the Meg Wendy, we're, which is a, we're a side frame or plate, we're bolting through the back side of this casting, the face that I'm machining right now. And there'll be a hole in this that will match up with a hole that's in the side frame for the exhaust. The steam inlet will be going through the or into the steam chest, the side of the steam chest. So that's the uh, range that we're going to use. So I'm just taking a little bit off the back here. Uh, I took some off the other side, just just clean up cut, zeroed the cutter, flipped it over, and then just added twenty, and then I take, took twenty thousandths off this side. Okay, that's it for there.